Good day, Aquarius viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for hanging out with me, and thank you for clicking on like and subscribing to my channel, and also clicking on that notification bell. That will let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos. Today, I am shuffling for the overall energy for the Aquarius Collective and their greatest good for May 2024. Spirit, what is the overall energy for our Aquarius Collective? Thank you. Okay, so we have the world and door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, so I'm hearing that you're trying to get a better perspective, trying to see things from a different angle, trying to see something from a different view, or somebody's asking you um, to see something from another view or another angle. Um, maybe you had a disagreement with somebody recently or somebody is trying to um I just heard debate or like persuade you into something and you're trying to see their their point of view but you're having a little bit of trouble with that um I'm also hearing that you there's other reasons why you need to look at things from a different angle. And that is because it's going to lead you to personal healing and happiness. It's going to lead you on the right path. Um, what I'm hearing is it's like you're standing at this door. Okay. And you're looking at this beautiful, beautiful place. But before you can get there, you have to go through this thicket of vines and thorns. And But you know that once you get through the door, what you have, what you're going to have. So you have to get scarred and hurt before you're able to get into this beautiful place. Of where you deserve to be. And that's the road you're on right now. Is this. Road to. This place that's just in your sight. You've gone through so much. Learned so many lessons. Have so many scars. And it's your turn. To bask in. This happiness. If you just keep on going through this thicket, past those doors, just you just it's your just a reminder for you to keep on going. It's so close. Um, you just have to look at it that way. That's seeing thing. That's a different way to see things from a higher perspective. Um, it's almost there. You're so close. You're so close to having everything that you want. Um, and you ha you're you going to be able to look at those scars and those wounds. And know what it took for you. And the bravery it took for you to get to where you're going to stand. And you'll be able to look around you and be like, I did it. It's, it's super important that you see that. Um, and you might have to look at it from a different angle to actually see it. Um, you had to experience everything that you are going through to get to this well-deserved place. All right, spirit. I'm shuffling for the Aquarius Collective. What do they need to know for their greatest good? Thank you. There's 
What else do they need to know, Spirit? Thank you. What else do they need to know? Shuffling for Aquarius. Thank you. Okay, so all of these cards are upside down. There's something you need to take action on. There's a cycle that you're stuck in, first of all. And like I said, I feel like you're so close to the finish line. But there's something that you need to take care of before you, the universe will allow you to get there. It's like I said, you can see the entryway, but there's something that needs to be taken care of and you have to figure it out. That's the problem. You're the one who has to be introspective and reflective to see what it is that you need to conquer before you can continue in this glorious state of manifestation. So, yeah, there's action that you need to take. I see that there's somebody, or this could be you, that's in recovery or trying to recover from an addiction or an obsession. Um, and you're struggling. This might be you struggling. Um, maybe that's what you have to go through to to get through to this manifestation, this personal healing and happiness. Maybe you were clean or, um, and you fell off the wagon. Maybe you relapsed or something along those lines and now you have to start over again. And that's why you're in this cycle. I mean, you know it's a decision you have to make. But you're struggling with it. So there's action that needs to be taken. There's definite action that you can't ignore. You can't ignore it anymore. You're stuck in this cycle and you have all this happiness that's like right there. Um, but I mean, the struggle's real. Addiction's real. Okay, let's see. Spirit, what else does the Aquarius Collective need to know for their greatest good? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you're a feisty thing. You are, you have this belief of mind over matter. So you're willing to, when you have a goal, you're, you're willing to put your mind to it. So you know that whatever this is that's holding you back, once you figure out what it is, you will work 100%, 110% is what I just heard, to make sure it happens. Because you make things happen. Um, but you want everything right now. Like, you're just like, well, all I'm hearing is divine timing. Um, and I think it was... 
Gemini when I said don't shoot the messenger, but it's all about divine timing. Um, I also hear that you're coming together with somebody. This might be somebody that you haven't connected with in a little while. Somebody might be coming back into the picture. Somebody that maybe you, um, like I'm here that you haven't seen in a while, like a connection of some kind. Um, I am, we do have this King of Pentacles. So this might be somebody who you look up to. This could be somebody who is a business owner. This could be a boss or it could even be a father figure. Um, but there's, there's a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be. This could also be a romantic interest that's coming towards you. Um, or like I said, they're going to offer you help or assistance of some kind. They might even, I'm, I'm just hearing like a proposal of, of something. Maybe it's a job. This could be somebody that, um, they, they have a lot of abundance. They, and they want to share it. Like I said, it, or they have a lot of knowledge. They want to share whatever it is that they have. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. You know, abundance can be anything. But they want to share it with you. They want to make sure that you get your, your due. Whatever it is that you were, like, the, they want to make sure you have a piece of it. I'm seeing, like, a division, like, almost like a pie chart. <laughs> So I feel like they want you to have your piece of the pie. Um, cause you deserve it. Okay. What else do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Some of you might be taking a vacation or walking away from a job. Um, maybe you have some kind of vacation time and you're going to find happiness. This is, you're going off somewhere that's going to make you truly happy. Um, this could be something you're doing for yourself. It doesn't have to be a vacation, but maybe it's like a retreat. Um, which could be a vacation to some people, you know, depending on the definition there, it doesn't have to be, um, but you're getting away is what I should say. You're getting away. Um, but it's going to be something that you're doing for your own good to benefit you. Maybe you're going, you're taking a retreat by yourself or maybe with a couple of your friends. Uh, maybe it's a couple's retreat. Uh, but you're stepping away from work for a little while so you can go ahead and work on yourself or your own situation. Um, and when I say situation, it could be maybe you have, you're starting your own business or taking off from your job to start your own business and get that established. Um, maybe you're moving and you have to take off from work to move into a new home or, um, you know, so you're, whatever this is, you're taking off of work to do something that's going to benefit you. All right. Okay. Spirit says to move on to the, the closing message. Okay. Here we go. All right. So I am shuffling. For the concluding message for our Aquarius Collective and for their greatest good and for the good of others. What does the Aquarius Collective need to hear for their greatest good and for the good of others to conclude? Thank you. That was fast. Okay, so we have 42. 
the lovers. Love lulls all sorrow and bewitches flesh, mind and breath, reminding me that I am unafraid of the unfurling winds of my eternity. So let's look up the lovers. Perhaps the only thing more difficult than being your true self is allowing others to see you for who they who you really are. The fear of rejection can make you feel like you have to remain guarded or alter your truth to be more desirable. The need to shelter your heart is even greater once you've experienced heartache and betrayal as your heart begins to fear the idea of love blooming again after it's shattered. It's natural to retreat for a time to mend the broken pieces, but the presence of the lovers is a welcome sign that your heart is ready to experience love through a higher consciousness. Your previous relationships have taught you that taught you what isn't in alignment with your heart. Each prior experience offers you more insight into the type of relationship you are now ready to call into existence. Your pathway to true love lies in your willingness to be open and vulnerable. Do not be afraid to show the world who you truly are. Be willing to say no to those who cannot accept you for all your flaws and curves, cracks and baggage. These are not the right people for you. Being vulnerable to others is like sending out an invitation to join your life party. Those who show up and support you are the ones who will help you to grow and enrich your life with happiness. This message can likewise be applied to wealth, career, friendships, and your beliefs. All right, so like I said, it doesn't necessarily, well, not like I said, like they said, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, tied to a romantic relationship, but it can also be tied to careers and your beliefs and other energies in your life and other circumstances in your life. But um, don't let people in who aren't going to love you for you. You know, only keep the people who love you, who care about you, who want to be in your energy. And um, sometimes it takes maturity and growth to realize that that is what needs to be done. Um, the older you get, I feel like the smaller your circles are um, because you get to know yourself and you get to know who is... Um, worth keeping and who's not so um yeah just be aware of who loves you and who doesn't and who is you know out for your greatest good and who's not all right so thank you for joining me i so appreciate your energy aquarius it means the world to me if you stay this far <laughs> into the reading um please click on subscribe and like this video um It'd be very helpful for me if you did. It would spread my message and I would love you for it. So um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, Aquarius.